Yes, I, yes, I'm about to break the fourth wall. Yes, you know. And you know what? I have no fear because Jesus Christ is, I am with Jesus Christ. I walk in, you know, in the Holy Spirit every single day. I walk, breathe, talk, live in the Holy Spirit. The epitome of my legacy is to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. With Jesus, nothing is impossible. And with Jesus, I am protected and I am sheltered. And with Jesus, I fear no evil. So, basically, Ric Flair was a 16-time World Heavyweight Champ. That's what they... He, he was famous or known and had a reputation for many, many, many other things. And honestly, in my opinion, some things that should surpass the fact that he was a 16-time World, Heavy, World Heavyweight Champ. But because it's the World Wrestling Entertainment, the WWE, Vince McMahon... Because Ric Flair originally wasn't, you know, part of the WWE. But when he did, they just, they overdid the whole 16-time world every champ. That's all he was. That's all he was. He was just a guy with a bunch of freaking world title reigns. You know, they didn't, they didn't tell and talk about all of his great, you know, arguably some of the greatest matches in the, in the sports history. Sorry about my hand. Uh, in the sports history. They don't talk about his work ethic that he had or how... Here's just a quick story. There's like another wrestler named Terry Taylor. And I guess this was back in the early 90s or 80s or whatever. Like, Remember when I said Ric Flair? And this is part of his demons and part of the fact when he signed a deal with the devil. He, he would drink and party and, and all this stuff to the full maximum. Get hungover. And he would... He would wrestle an hour match and be out, be, and he would out condition the other wrestler. He would be more conditioned than the other wrestler. The story, the story is, gosh darn it, sorry, freaking, I don't know, I guess sweat or something, huh, making my arm itch. Um, I accidentally hit my horn. Gosh darn it. So basically, what I'm trying to say is. Uh, Terry Taylor basically told a story. He was pretty upset that Ric Flair was coming in drunk and all this stuff, but it was a regular day thing. He did this like six out of seven times, a, like weekly, days out of the week, he did this. And um, basically, he came in. Terry Taylor was like all upset. He was like, man, why? Uh, what the heck are you doing? We have a freaking world heavyweight title match, you know? And Terry's excited because it's, you know, a chance that he can show, you know, how good is he can be a megastar because he's having a world championship match. And all Ric Flair simply said, give me a cup of coffee. Next thing you know, got a cup of coffee. He he doesn't hear or see Ric Flair until the moment they're in a the ring. And he's furious and he's thinking, oh, man, it's going to be a big letdown. Ric Flair comes out looking better than ever. Classic Ric Flair with the robe, with the chant, with the woo, with the charisma, with the... The walk, the strut, everything. And you know what? He outperformed even Terry Taylor because Terry Taylor had a hard time keeping up with him. He was ba he was an alien on this world, man. He truly was. It was just crazy. But, you know, it's it's things like that that I truly believe should have been recognized, not just the fact he was a 16-world heavyweight champion. And that's all he was. Well, basically what I'm trying to say is, so... John Cena, who just recently, who's the face of the business, who just recently became a 16-time World Heavyweight Champion, tied Ric Flair's record. Now, really, there's nothing special in WAE's eyes in terms, the Illuminati's eyes in terms. There's nothing special about Ric Flair anymore. He's just there. He's just, you know, there's no need to have him around anymore. He's just... And I don't believe that. That's sickening to say that. That the Illuminati would take him out and basically kill him or put him in a hospital, whatever, the fact because he, you know, he's irrelevant, that makes me sick. Ric Flair will always be a great wrestler than John Cena ever will, but there's more at stake than, than reputations and legacies. It's, it's, a, a, it's God's children at hand, you know, and it's sickening to even thought that that is even a possibility. And I hope everything I'm saying – it is is ludicrous. I hope everything I'm saying is none of it could ever be true. But even if it slightly is true, this world, the, the Illuminati, it, it it's it's they'll have their judgment day, and when they 
I don't care how long. I don't care. They live 300 years. They will die. And judgment day for them will come. And they will be sent to hell. And God will and always have and always will triumph over evil and over the Illuminati. So, and now in Rich Piana's thing, everything seems like it's controlled by the Illuminati. Every single big company, big thing out there. Google, YouTube, think about this. So lately, they've been cracking down, YouTube has, on fitness stuff. They've been cracking down on the word steroids. They've been cracking down on, you know... Anything that has to resolve, resort, be relevant towards steroids, you know, they've just been cracking down, destroying other fitness YouTube channels because they've made their name and reputation off of being real and talking real. Not mean that they're doing steroids, some do, some don't, but because they're just telling the truth behind what's been hidden for so long. And so other people don't fall down the same hole and they, you know, and stuff like that, just getting the truth out there. And YouTube wants to stop that because the word steroid or in today's society, and I don't know if it ever was, but it's just it's so negative, profound, and like, oh my gosh, you know, oh, that's so evil, bad, bad, bad. And, you know, it's not good, but it's not like there's a lot more things out there that's worse. Um, but. And a lot more things I've seen on YouTube that you don't hear YouTube complaining about that uh, they'd rather focus on the word steroid and anything, res you know, be close to that or anything, you know, pro bodybuilder. If you talk about pro bodybuilders, it's going to, they're going to think steroids because all pro bios, look, all pro bodybuilders take steroids. Um, it's just, it's, it's sad. Like there's murder, there's perversion, there's acts uh, people trying to be funny and doing perversion and, and and murderous stuff and they think it's fine and they just you know whatever that's the illuminati all the way now you're probably thinking well why would they want to stop the steroid thing i don't know i don't know how they operate but because of that the guy the the, the face of Telling the truth, the, the 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 poster boy of the whole steroid thing. It all started, or I don't know if it all started, but it all was made into a big trending thing, all because of Rich Piana. And since this came out, Rich Piana gets this uh, medically induced coma. Now, again, I'm not saying the Illuminati wiped out Rich Piana and wiped out Ric Flair's, but if you start connecting the dots, you start stop seeing the way and looking the way that everyone else does and kind of just look at a, a certain angle or look at a certain vision that most people don't see, you'll start to see things that's more clear than another. You start to read between the lines. You'll start, you, you know, take yourself out of the, the so-called society bubble and kind of look down and see what's really going on. Not, you know, because if you're inside it, you're kind of like, you know, you just... You're just one of them. You're just a slave. You're just a prisoner. But if you free yourself with Jesus Christ, you, you walk free with Jesus and you look and see where you're at and what's really going on. Yeah, you might sound crazy, but you only sound crazy because everyone else is thinking the exact same way and doing the exact same thing. So I'm not, I don't want to get off track. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I just want to get off that my chest. The key sense. It could be the Illuminati just wiping it out because, one, they don't, they're just taking out things that might affect them or taking things out that's irrelevant. You know, for Ric Flair's case, and uh, affecting thing is the Rich Beyond's case. Now, if the Illuminati does not exist, and even if they do and they're not a part of this or not doing this, and you know, what everyone's been saying has happened, then not only do I hope, and I, I'm not going to use wish, I hope God blesses them. I hope God... What I'm going to do next, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And I want everyone with me, believers in God, or non-believers, whatever, but... 
just for a second if you want. You don't have to. You can laugh. You can joke. But this is a serious concept. This is a serious thing. People, you know, two men's lives are on the line, you know, and I don't want to see anyone go to hell. I really don't. But the lives that they lived and the choices that they've made, Rich Piana, he's made a living off making a mockery of God. He really has. Not directly, not that I've seen, but the way he would just present himself and the way he would just go about life and the steroids, the drugs, you know, just the total abuse to his temple. You're just asking, you know, for God to not only show his wrath, but that's how the devil just swoops right in because you make yourself so, so weak in the spirit and you start thinking that you're your own God and you lose more and more connection with God, and that's how the devil's like, boom. And then the devil presents steroids, and this will give you happiness. And, you know, women will give you happiness, and drugs, and, and muscles, and fake muscles, and all this will give you happiness. And you can just tell by the look on his face, all that was just, a, it's just a cover-up happiness. But inside, he's dying inside because... He's depressed because he doesn't he hates the person he sees in the mirror because he never is satisfied because he's he's created and he's welcomed this this demon or demons within him. I'm talking about Rich Beyond and Ric Flair. I mean, he lived the character he portrayed on TV and in the ring for so many years. He lived the character for so long. I mean, he abandoned his family for so many weeks and, and days and times. And the times that he could have been talking to his family on the phone or hanging out with them, he chose to go and, you know, get, you know, do drugs and get drunk and be a womanizer and live the character that he was. You know, he was so good at it, at the character, because he was the character. And then now, up to all the way to now, he's trying to. I don't know if he still does that, but he's still, he's not calm and he's not relaxed and he's not settled down as he properly should be. And with everything that's happened, I mean, you can just tell sadness just eats him away inside and it's caught up to him. It's caught up to both of them. Oh, excuse me. Now they're both in the hospital. Now they're both in comas and now their life is on the line. Their life is in God's hands. And I'm not saying God is you know, gonna just, you know, kill him and because of this and that. He's, I truly believe God's giving him a chance. Like, listen, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna allow and not fight back against the devil. You're gonna allow the devil to take away everything away from you, all the gifts and all the blessings I've given you. And all I'm asking is just for you, not only to surrender to me, but just to let me love you, to let me see the love and blessings that I have been giving you day after day, second after second, year after year, decade after decade, that you have been blinded to see because the devil has blinded you to see to see my love, to see, you know, God, Jesus Christ's love. All he wants is just for you to ask forgiveness, you know? And I don't know if God, you know, because they've done a lot. They've done a lot. And, you know, I have no right. To say all these things and make all these accusations. But this is just from the years and research, you know. Because I, at one time, I used to almost like, I wouldn't say worship. But I almost used to just praise these two guys. I used to look up to them so much. I used to got to a point, now looking back, I used to look up the drugs that Rich Piana used to take. Because I, this, there was a tiny little demonic voice in my head saying, take those. You know, so you can... You go down that road and be successful, but you know, God's voice over, over triumph over that voice and said, no, you know, that's, you know, because he guides you away from evil. And I'm truly blessed for that. And Ric Flair, I've always looked up to Ric Flair, you know, I don't necessarily say I could look up to him now. I respect him. I think in a wrestling perspective, he's one of the greatest of all time. But as a human being, he's 
he hasn't made a lot of good choices from, you know, a Christian perspective. From a flesh perspective, it's just your own, pers- you know, it's own, your own opinion, you know. But on a Christian perspective, because at the end of the day, what you do here determines if you go to heaven or hell. And from what I've seen, the stories I've heard, and what I've personally seen that they've done, it's not looking good. They, they look far, far from heaven. But that's God's judgment, not mine. And I hope God forgives them. And so I'm going to take this time right now and uh, I'm going to pray. So I'm going to pray for Ric Flair. I'm going to pray for Rich Piana. If you want to join me, I, that, that's a blessing that you, if you would, if you don't, it's, it's fine. It's your choice. But dear father in heaven, I pray to you in Jesus name. I pray to you that you look over rich Pion, that you look over Ric Flair. I pray that you give them an eye-opening experience that you give them maybe this is the awakening part of their life to where they see the wrongdoings that they did they see the devil at work and they fight finally against the devil and not let the devil take everything away from him lord i ask that i pray that i hope that this is why you got why you put them in this coma or if the devil put him to coma, but the fact that you allowed this to happen, I pray that this is all because that I pray that you look over them and you let them live through this and it be an epiphany in their life that they wake up and they see, they wake up in the Holy Spirit. They see and they're finally, they see the truth. They see what they have done and they feel free and they're not a prisoner and they break down those those walls and they tear off those chains by the devil and they walk free with Jesus. Lord, I pray that you look over Ric Flair and you look over Rich Piana, that you show them after this experience that they've had for them to surrender and ask for forgiveness for all their sins, for they repent for all their sins. And Lord, I pray that you have forgiveness for them and that you transform them into warriors and stronger men in the Holy Spirit and of you, Father in heaven. Lord, I pray that you look over him and you give him a speedy and a godly recovery and you give him an eye-opening And they start to have a realization of what is the true reality, not what they've been living. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I not only pray for those two, but I pray that you look over all those who need you the most, all those who are most distant from you, Lord. I pray to you because everyone is called in Christ. I believe I everyone I truly believe can be saved. I truly believe everyone can be forgiven, Lord. That's what I truly believe. And Lord, that's why I pray and I ask for you to do this, Lord. I ask only for your forgiveness, for I ask for forgiveness, for I repent for all my sins, Lord. And I just want you to, I ask and I ask and I pray to you, Lord, that you look over everyone, that you look over all those who need you the most, Lord. And you just give everyone, you, you take those scales off their eyes and you give everyone an eye opening. And you give everyone that awakening in the Holy Spirit and that they understand and they start to have realization they, and they have the understanding of that they need you and every second in life they can't continue without you and that all the blessings that they They don't deserve, I don't deserve, but you still bless us because you love us. I pray that Rich Piana, Ric Flair, and all those who need you the most, and all those who have accepted you, and for all your children, 
I pray that you finally, that I pray that they open their eyes and they finally see your love that you've been given to them since the moment you brought them into this world. I pray that each and every one of them, Ric Flair, rich beyond everyone, whatever they're going through, that they see the love of Jesus Christ. Lord, I love you, and I repent for all my sins. And please look over Rick Flynn, Rich Piana, and bring them closer to you. Maybe this is the ultimate breaking of them, because sometimes I know, Lord, you have to break people down. Like myself, you have to break them down to bring them closer to you, Lord. And for I ask, and I repent, and I pray that if this is you breaking down Ric Flair and Rich Peon to the point that they know and they see that they need Jesus Christ in their life more than ever and as close as possibly can. Lord, I know that I am called in Christ and Lord, I Pray to you, Lord, for them to recover, not only recover, but recover, recover and burn down those and take down those chains and they recover and embodied with the Holy Spirit, that Jesus Christ enters their life like never before. In the name of Jesus. Whew, man. Like I said, I've tried I tried really hard um, to really get everything that's processed up in here because it's like a constant train that never stops and it all, you know, comes out, but sometimes it kind of comes out kind of jungle, you know, you know, blah, 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 you know, not all, you know, not the best smooth and you know, correct order but hopefully you guys get the idea and get the point um so you might think i'm crazy this might dictate different things in my life those who are watching and it might not it might nothing happen i might lose followers i might lose respect i might my game respect, my game follows. I don't know. It's not that I don't care, but I know that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, as long as I know, as long as I am within Christ, that I accept the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and every single foot that I put in front of the other, and every single day that I try to strive to make my great make my relationship with God greater and greater every single day, then I have no fear and I'm happy. And no matter what what happens to me in any sort of way, The only thing that I truly care about is the Lord and everything that he asks for me to do and everything that I feel the nudge that he asks me to do. And every single day, the only thing that is truly on my mind, the only thing that I care the most in the world about not about the following not about you know respect not about any of that the most thing that i care about the most in this world not even about pro, pro wrestling and not even about bodybuilding the most of the thing that i care about in this world is the fact that i every single day i grind as hard as i can to grow a relationship with god more and more and that i do everything in my absolute epitome of my being to 
not only make the Lord happy, to become closer and closer to the Lord, Jesus Christ, every single second of every single day. And everybody, God bless everybody. God bless you. I hope the Lord comes into your life and shows you a revelation, a salvation, peace, and happiness, and love that you've never felt before. So God bless you. And Lord, look over Ric Flair, look over Rich Piana. And if it is their time to go, Lord, I only ask that you forgive them for their sins. And Lord, I only pray that they ask for forgiveness and they add, and they accept you into your life. And that if they do do that, Lord, I pray that you forgive them. For they don't deserve it. No one does. But God works in mysterious ways, and God has a love like no other. Has a love that is beyond our understanding. So, God bless everyone. Have a great day. Live it up. When you look in the mirror, love yourself. Don't try to be something that you're not. Don't try to live in someone else's shoes. And don't make materialistic things your God. And don't try to be fooled by what seems to be the truth. Because sometimes even what the truth is that you see might be the biggest lie. Because the real truth might make you might make you seem crazy, might make you have people hate against you. But if that's what it takes to bring you closer to the Lord, and if that's what it takes for you to become the best that you can possibly be forever, your best there forever, then I truly believe that's well worth it. So I pray and. Try with the, with God, with the Holy Spirit. Try to give it your all. To not only think outside the box, but be the person and be the people, all of you, who create the box that's outside of thinking outside the box. Maybe something to think about. God bless you all.